The video you're about to see is not intended for manipulation or misuse. These two successful ways I'm about to replay for you guys are only to be used to attract a woman that you really want to pursue. In no way is this objectifying women if I see anyone trying to accuse me of such or taking things out of context, you will simply be either A, hidden, or B, banned. I recorded this um, after a few drinks a while back. It caused quite a bit of controversy. Um, but I also got probably about 10 guys reach out to me and say that it um, that they were helped and it's true and this stuff is real um, it works and it's true um, no one loves women more than me mm, mm. and if you're offended by this you don't live in the real world this is how I'm about to show you how to attract a mate and a lot of you guys need this okay so without further ado and I don't want to hear anything from any beta males um, there's been a million women in my life that have seen this video and they love it. So without further ado, I bless upon you two sure ways to pick up that woman you really want. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're having a special, special walkthrough tonight, folks. And if the music's too loud, I don't want to hear you bitch because I'm having a good time listening to it. So with all the money and all the crypto in the world, if you can't get laid, it doesn't matter. Because guess what? That whole myth of you have money, you can get laid, that's a lie. There's a lot of motherfuckers I know that have a lot of money and they still can't get laid. So guess what? I'm about to give you guys two things. One is a line that you're going to use the first time you're talking to a girl. And the second is something that you are going to do when you're able to to shell shock that girl and have her hooked. So what I'm about to do is bless you guys. And this is trial and tribulated. You're, if you say this one thing to a female, if you don't get her number or make out with her or do something with her, at the end of the night, there's no exceptions. If you say this, if you say this one phrase I'm about to tell you, you're good. And I want you to try it. In I really want you to try this. This is for the guys. If this now this line works for I would imagine really, I mean I've done it to from 23 year olds to like 31 year olds but I'm sure it'll work within those measures so here's the line what you're gonna tell this beautiful girl smoking hot little babe you're going to say after you've had a little conversation and I quote you are not a basic bitch let me repeat that let's say her name's Betty you're gonna say Betty you are not a basic bitch. And I'll tell you, that girl's gonna eat it up. So let's talk about the psychology for a second. So I'm gonna give you the honest to God's truth. The truth is, is before you sleep with a woman, you want to compliment her. Tell her, you know, that you think she's pretty, tell her whatever. You compliment women when you first meet them. And subconsciously, they have to give it to you. Now, after you sleep with them, unfortunately, it's different. If you really like the girl, you don't want to over compliment them. I'm not saying you have to put them down, but it ain't like before. So, number one, part one here. 
you have to utter these words out of your mouth. Whether it's early when you start talking or, or late after a conversation, make sure that you tell that that woman, that girl, she is not a basic bitch. You say, uh, Miranda, you are not a basic bitch. And you are fucking gold. I have a 100% win rate whenever I say that. Now I'm going to tell you another trend. The girls that like hearing that the most are the ones that are basic bitches. I'm talking about the girls that drive Hyundai Elantras. The last three, three, three in a row of women I know. Drive Elantras. That's all I'm going to say about that. And every single one's a fucking home run. And every single one, I said that line. They drive a Civic, tell them you're not, they're not a basic bitch. They drive a Chrysler, you are not a basic bitch. Tell them. So that's number one. Now, part two. I learned from someone else. Part one, I came up with that myself. That's from Crypto Face to you. You're welcome. But part two, I have to say, I had a buddy sh show me this. I saw an action when when I when he told me what it was, I couldn't believe it until I did it myself and every single time it works. So, a woman women are subconscious are, are conscious about their stomach and I'm just going to say it Phase two is if you have the chance, you put your palm on their stomach. And if they're in public, they can't freak out about it. And they, they it's like turning a shark upside down. If you touch a woman in her stomach, and, um, and you don't just grab a bitch by her stomach out of nowhere, unless it's that kind of girl. In fact, the first time I saw it was my homie, we were at a bar, a skimpy bar where the bartenders were wearing literally like, it was like a, almost like a stripper. It was like a step down from the strip club. And he knew the girl from before, right? And she was walking by you, uh, and she had this little tiny pooch in that belly and he, bam, he fucking, bam. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. He fucking slapped his palm right on that belly and fucking swayed it. And that girl had no choice at that moment. She had to have sex with him. So, I'm not telling you to go out and just grab women by their stomachs. Be good about it. But, like, if you lean in for, uh, I don't even know, like, I've done it, I've done it a lot, but I can't really, like, I can't really pinpoint, but, but, like, the girl tonight, I couldn't grab her stomach. I told her she wasn't a basic bitch. Got her number. Me and this girl were vibing. She was all talking about how we're on the same frequencies. I think you are on the same frequencies. You know how it goes. <laughs> my middle name is frequency now if you've been around for a while on this channel i mean i'm not trying to brag or nothing but like whatever it's like sometimes you guys hear me you know you i'm an open book i am myself so this is the first time if you i'm, I'm appealing to my audience which is crypto nerds so here's your blessing number one Tell the girl she's not a basic bitch. Number two, when you can sneak in touching her stomach in public, you know, be and, and, and you don't act like you're phased. When she's shell shocked, you don't act like you're phased, you just keep going. When you do that, boom, she's shell shocked, her brain scrabbled, she, and 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 just don't be a complete retard and you'll be okay. So Yeah. That's all I want to say to you guys. Good luck. Give it a shot. You'll be happy with the results. Don't be scared. You'll be okay. All right. Just in time. Boy, was that a classic. I remember our... You just got a new TV. Now what? <clears throat> well, 
Well, that's that. And uh, we'll see if it causes the same controversy it did last time. Good luck. It works. I've got the testimonials to back it up. Um, not including my own testimonials.